page 56, mark a roll. This is an example of ensemble playing. This is where the grand staff is buried inside a score, like a conductor score with a lot of other instruments. And a lot of times the piano part will have the other instruments in its music, but the other instruments won't. They will only have their own, own music. They won't have anybody else's music. They might have cue notes occasionally, but most of the time, only the piano part and the conductor's part, which is the same difference in, in many cases, will have all of them. Is that one reason a piano player sometimes ends up being the conductor, because they can see everything. Now if you look here, the, the uh, curly brace, you're looking for that curly brace, because that tells you where the grand staff is, that tells you where the piano part is, and you're playing the, the staves where that curly brace is. So uh, same process we were doing before, now look it over, I see it's two lines long, treble and bass clef, I'm talking grand staff here. One sharp in the key signature for the grand staff, because if you have other instruments, they may be in a different key. Because a clarinet's a different key than a violin, and who knows what, okay. And six, eight times, so a lot of eighth notes. Let's just take this and make sure we understand what we're doing here. And the right hand is just broken chords. You're down here with a G chord. One, two, three, four, five. And then they want you to move up to the D chord. One. And then they give you two empty measures. Isn't that fun? They're telling you the chord names above it. So just keep playing those chords. G chord. D chord. G chord. D chord. And uh, next to the last measure, you don't get anything. Well, that means two things. One of two, th either you don't play. Normally, if you don't play, they would say in C. That means no chord, don't play. But when they don't give you anything, it typically means keep playing the same chord you're playing. So just play another D chord. Not here. That's basically what you're doing in the right hand. Left hand, you're, just, you're doing it here. You're just playing the notes, a G and a D. So. in the last measure. That's basically all you're doing. You're thinking, what kind of melody is that? And the answer is it's not a melody. You're not doing the melody. The piano doesn't always get the melody. The melody is up probably the top line. And everything else is harmony or accompaniment. So if you were going to play this, the melody comes out, that's the MF. Here, they're saying top two lines. I, I think it's the top line, really. And everything else is in the background. Because people want to hear the melody. I'm not going to do a play with me on this. You can do that. If you have questions, let me know. That's about all I have to say. As far as the speed goes, that depends on the group. How fast is the group going to take it? Flowing means you flow it. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Let me know if you have questions.